Hey folks, thanks for joining us here again on Late Edition. Tonight we're going to be looking at the Biden-Harris administration. <clears throat> we promise to be just as unbiased as the Communist News Network, uh, the gas pipeline hack, uh, and the new political party that's fast on the rise that people ought to start keeping their eyes on. Um, first thing we're going to get into is Camel Toe Harris can't seem to fix all the problems by going down on somebody anymore and uh, Mr. Brown has confirmed that there's not much more he can do for her so she's kind of on her own on that and having a little problem adjusting um, Joe Biden is actually having to restart Trump's legacy the wall you know how heartwarming does it get to just realize that some point old Biden just got to realize that uh, he's not worth a crap at what he's doing. And uh, let's use uh, some of the previous administration's good ideas and uh, maybe we can get something done. Um, On to that new political party I was talking about. Um, you may not have heard of them. You may know all about them. Uh, it's a new party called the Slumber Party. Well, the Slumber Party, if you're curious and don't know exactly what they're about, they are one major stance. And that is definitely that they are completely anti-woke. And they are anti-anything that is woke. Because my God, what is woke today more than just another addition to cancel culture? That, that's all it's about. You know, let, let's just try to erase this, erase that. that that's all they want to do. So, you know what? Along comes the slumber party. Fast asleep in the, in the woke world we live in today. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and move on to the Green New Deal. Have you heard of much uh, bigger joke in your life? Uh, about the only thing I see this thing doing so far is uh, putting a little extra green in the pockets of all the uh, big oil tycoons. Um, let's face the facts on this one. Um, we had a hack happen to the gas lines where there's a shortage of gas getting to areas. Not an actual shortage of gas, but just gas that doesn't seem to be able to get to where the people really need it at. And so magically now we got price rises in these got the same amount of gas actually getting backed up because they can't sell it but they have a great reason to raise the prices on gas now right wouldn't have anything to do with trying to uh phase out gas and phase in new electric cars that absolutely half the population can't even begin to think about affording no wouldn't have anything at all to do with that so you know the, the last thing we're going to kind of touch on today is we're going to touch on the other problem with Camel Toe Harris. Um, she's getting greatly overshadowed as being the first female vice president because Joe Biden is just going leaps and bounds and showing it's much more important to recognize the fact that we have our very first special needs president. Well, he proves that a little bit more every day, doesn't he? Did it, did it, did it, did it? Yeah, good old Stutter Biden. Well, that's all we have for you this evening. Uh, thank you guys. Hope you make it back again. And uh, as always, be sure to get out there and vote 2022 and 2024. Let's get this mess cleaned up. Thank you. Have a good evening.